got done with the slap simulation um the quiz was kind of hard low-key my my weakest point was with cardiac and like respiratory which is like kind of the biggest chunk of nursing, what nursing is <laughs> so i need to get better at that <laughs> so the quiz was a little bit rough but it's okay the next time we'll just do better i should probably study since i did so bad <laughs> Good morning guys, today is actually such a good weather day because it's been like raining all week in New York City. I need to get my schedule way better because I don't even remember what classes I'm taking. I just know the times. Today I woke up a little bit earlier so I have 10 minutes to get to class. Versus normally it's like, oh fuck, I'll have like one minute or like I have literally 30 seconds to get to class on time. I'm pretty sure there's a quiz this morning. See, this is why I have to remember my classes. <laughs> Listen, it's the summer semester. I want to take a chill. I want to be easy. I'm almost done with nursing school, so I don't have much patience left, okay? But um, yeah, I should probably figure out what the quiz is over. <laughs> Okay, so there was a quiz and it's not over something that I had to study for. It was more like a reading and I remember what I had to read, so we're good. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so class is over. It's like two hours long. It's so hard for me to fucking focus for two hours and like I didn't have coffee, so I was like, fuck! Why am I cursing so much? <laughs> Excuse me. Guys, while I'm on the subway, this is the perfect time to introduce today's video sponsor, AG1. Pretty much, AG1 is a delicious and refreshing juice filled with vitamins, probiotics, whole food source nutrients that aid my brain, gut, and also my immune system. And making AG1 on the go is super convenient too. You get one heaping scoop, pour it into the jar, get some water, shake it up, and bam, you're ready to go. And just as it's good for those long study sessions, it's also refreshing for the hot subway rides as well. <laughs> It's packed with powerful ingredients like rhodiola, magnesium, vitamin B, and keeps my energy sustained throughout the whole day without the caffeine crash that coffee gives me, even though I love coffee. And here I am studying for my hardest class, which is pharmacology, but thanks to AG1 and its powerful plant extracts, herbs, and antioxidants, it's giving me the mental clarity to really memorize all these drugs that I need to. And AG1 is so good at lasting throughout the day, so I don't get an energy crash and I keep my sanity throughout the day. So guys, make sure to tap on my link to get a one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3, K2, and five travel packs free with your first purchase. Honestly, you can't put a price tag on your own health, so go do it. It's like super plain, like I don't get anything on it, I don't toast it. So I have this membership at Pratt where you pay like $40 a month and you get five cups of coffee a day for free. I mean, it's not for free because I pay, but for those of you that don't know, I am currently a nursing student here at Columbia University. Um, it's my last semester, my summer semester. So it's an accelerated program for 15 months. And once I finish here in August, I will be taking the NCLEX, which is like the license exam, you know, for me to actually become a licensed registered nurse. And then we'll start working. Being in this program throughout the 15 months, I kind of realized I don't want to just stay 
as a registered nurse, I kind of want to go into the DNP route, which is the Doctorate of Nurse Practitioner, where I would become a nurse practitioner. That way I could have more of a provider type of interaction with my patients. So like I would be prescribing, I would be like diagnosing. Yeah, I'm really interested in like skincare, right? Because <laughs> I'm Korean, I also Korean skincare, right? So I want to go the dermatology route. My timeline is finish nursing school, work, five, work for about a year, apply for the nurse practitioner program, and then hopefully become a dermatology nurse practitioner. As of right now, there's not much motivation. Like, I'm almost done, and I'm just ready to be over with, take the exam. But we're hanging on. But I gotta study. Yeah. He doesn't want to follow me. What? Hey, I'm not trying to follow you to the bathroom. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the little guy tired. <laughs> okay, fine. All right. Now we go to our last lecture of the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck school. Fuck school. <laughs> He's from California. He doesn't like New York. <laughs> right? You're moving back for your nursing job? Oh, yeah, I yeah. am. Where are you from? California, what do you mean? You just said it. What part of California? <laughs> Silly? NorCal. NorCal, okay, okay. Do you have any rec tips for future yeah. nursing students? Uh, no. No. <laughs> Good luck. Good. Feels better than what I want to say, but ways our memories faded. Sometimes I think of you. Alright, me and Ming just sat in lecture for an hour. <laughs> the thing is, if we don't review the lecture, or if we're not caught up in the, in lecture, everything that he just talks about just goes one year and out the other. Like, I'm just sitting there. I just went to class to be on my laptop. It's okay. We got a week to study for midterm. Yeah, so our, our, our midterm uh, is like exam. Things like what midterm exam is next Thursday when we got a whole week. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just brain farting that. Mama didn't say I'm not. Not money cost so good. I'm dosed so wet. Wrong. I'm a bull bull charge. You are what I'm a bull cost. Guys, I came to Whole Foods real quick because it was raining really hard in the morning. Today is 4th of July. It's Independence Day. So I'm not sure if I will be studying like I was supposed to. But I'm also at Whole Foods because I'm just waiting for my hair appointment at 12.30. It's almost 12. So I'm just going to study here for a little and then get my hair cut. And then go about the day doing our 4th of July festivity stuff and then do my homework at night. I'm literally taking my quiz for my class because I totally forgot I had it and here we are in 4th of July taking my quiz. do all my lectures here from like noon to whatever time it finishes. I don't know, for some reason I just focus way better at cafes versus at home or at the library. But I love coming here since it's yeah, my favorite um, acai smoothie. And it's like so light and it's not like super heavy or sweet like other places do. Like they make it just right. And obviously I come. 
I got shit soon here. I hate pooping anywhere else but my own toilet, but I had so much coffee here. I think this one Saturday that I ended up shitting at the toilet here at this cafe and I clocked it. It was so much. But I'm, thank God they had a plunger, so I plunged it, you know, make sure nobody has to deal with it afterwards. A little TMI, but there you go. Right now I'm gonna study a little bit on pharmacology and then probably hop on my, my anatomy lecture for a little, but I'm gonna mostly focus on studying just because I can always rewatch the lecture because it's been recorded. But yeah. out lately. Maybe I'm stressed. I'm so tired but I'm honestly really behind on the farm so I still gotta grind this out. We'll just see how much I can go because I'm so tired but I just like I am a slow learner guys like and I cannot cram so I gotta do little by little every day even if I'm tired just because that's how I learn like I do terrible under pressure I terrible procrastinator like I have to be on track every single day or else I will get overwhelmed on exam night. And I don't like getting overwhelmed because I crumble under pressure. <laughs> so I try to mitigate that as much as possible by studying every day. So, gonna do more fun. Oh, I'm so tired. All right, just got done with all my notes. It's currently 1.15 a.m. It's not super late, like it could be worse, but I like completely just <laughs> went super sonic speed on those notes. Uh, but I'm so tired, I don't want to keep filming because honestly I want to go to sleep. But a quick recap of the day. So, this is actually my favorite semester of nursing school. I think it's the most chillest and exams wise I am scoring the best in this semester I think the reason why it's so chill this semester is because there's no clinicals because we already finished clinicals and on top of that we did all our checkoffs for like physical assessment and like um, skills you know like tracheostomy tubes or like performing IV or like learning how to set up IV bags and things like that we've already done all that you know, in the beginning, in the middle of our program. And because now we're at the end, we're just kind of like chilling, we're just putting it all together, and just, we're just slowing it down now, because we are at the end. <laughs> so I'm so happy because of that. And also, like, I feel like the classes in this semester is so much more digestible and easier to kind of maneuver around. So I'm taking advanced pharmacology and also advanced physical assessment, which is a master's level course because this is a master's program. But it's like I'm oddly doing kind of well in it. I used to score like C's and like B minuses earlier in the program, but like I'm scoring high B's in almost A's in this exam. So I'm like really confused. Maybe I'm just getting smarter for once, or maybe I'm just studying a little harder. Finally, which is odd because it's the end. I feel like people usually slow down at the end, but I guess I'm the opposite. So yeah, 
and I decided I'm going to go towards the dermatology route for nurse practitioning. So I guess school's not really over for me. Once this is done, I'm going back to nursing school in a sense. And you guys, I want to go to bed. I'm so tired. I got to wake up tomorrow. Tomorrow's not so busy. Maybe not with schoolwork at least. <laughs> but anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. And